some experience solving for unknown variables in series circuits. And now I'd like to take the same approach, but instead look at a parallel circuit. So this problem says determine the voltage drop across and current through each resistor in the diagram below. And our picture has a 24 volt battery or power source. It's got R1, which is 2 ohms, R2, which is 4 ohms, and R3, which is 6 ohms. And you can see that all those are in branches, and so this is a parallel circuit. Um, with any complex circuit, I like to break it down and create a easier circuit to deal with. And ideally, I'd like to get to the point where I still have the same battery, but instead of three different resistors, I have one equivalent resistor. And what that equivalent resistor means is it's the resistor that I could replace all three of these with, take all three of these out, put this resistor in, and the battery would still have the same current going through it. The battery can't tell the difference between one resistor like this or three of these resistors arranged like that. So in parallel, we're going to combine those three into one equivalent resistance. And the rule for combining in parallel looks a little strange. To solve for the equivalent resistance, you add up the inverse of all the resistances you have, all the resistors you have, and then you take the inverse again to solve the equivalent resistance. So we'll sub in two, four, and six here, here, and here, and solve for the equivalent resistance. I've done that already. And the equivalent resistance is 1.09 ohms. So if I put in this circuit a 1.09 ohm resistor, I'm going to get the same current to the battery as in this circuit. And so since there's only one resistor in this circuit, I also know the voltage drop across that resistor is just the battery voltage. And I can solve for the current. And the current is solved for using Ohm's law. And you get 22 amps. So that's the current through the battery in this case, so it should be the current through the battery in this case. And once you've solved for everything you can in your um, simplified circuit, you want to step back to your more complicated circuit. And when you go backward in parallel, back to this more complex circuit, the thing you're going to bring with, the thing that's the same, is the voltage drop. The drop here was 24, or the voltage drop here is 24, here is 24, and also here is 24. And now for each resistor, you have two of the three unknowns, so you can solve for the third, you can solve for current. In this case, my voltage drop is 24. My resistance is 2, so I'm going to get 12 amps going through this branch. And seeing as how that's the least resistance, it should have the most current going through, so I'm expecting less than 12 for these two. And if I solve here using these numbers, I'm going to get 6 amps for this one. And similarly, with these numbers, I end up with 4 amps here. So it's pretty much all solved. A good thing to double check is that the current through the battery which we expect to be 22 amps, really is. And you can add up the current through each branch and make sure it adds to the total. So 12 and 6 and 4 does correctly add to 22. And another good double check in parallel to make sure that you have the same